Atlanta is a sexy, beautiful city, but there's a dark side beneath the surface. What do we got? I'm like, what is this? If you're from Atlanta, you know what I'm talking about. He's cool. All right, let's work. I'm crunk. Am I under arrest? Relax, sister. We work hundreds of murders in the city of Atlanta. <gasps> Man, this is a bloodbath. This was something straight out of a horror movie. We were tortures, bodies cut up into pieces. What you got for us? This. It was a fatal attraction. She was a call girl. What? Come again? It's getting ready to get dirty. Get some views over. Just in time. I'm like, I got him. We about to blow this thing up. Things are ding dinging all over the place at this point. These hands went up and we were like, that's it. Done. We wanted to stake our claim in the city of Atlanta homicide unit. Justice has to be served. We get together, have a beer like every couple of months before we go into the shoot because he wants to hang out and watch me. And so we'll sit there, chop it up, go to a sports bar or something. And um, he's in it to win it. He's in it to win it, and he had to change his whole personality, you know. But I told him again, don't don't imitate me. I mean, because it's it's going it's, it's going to look crazy. Yeah. So uh, we found a happy medium, and I think that you'll really be happy with season two when you see how it, the both of them get down. Much improved. Yeah. Not to say they did a bad, they did a wonderful job in season one. It's going to be even better uh, than season one and season two. Hi, I'm Terry Witt, Math Labor TV. And the question that I have about the show is, are the viewers gonna be thrusted into the show like they're playing the game of Clue? And, you know, with the game of Clue, you have to pretty much figure out the murder mystery. So is that how the season two, is that how season two is going to be? We're gonna deliver the viewers our personal agony. Yes, we played Clue daily. We clocked in and got on the game board. We were the pieces, so yes. They're, good. They're about to get it. True, true to life, every case was is just filled with red herrings. And you're going to see in these episodes, that's how these cases work. We start down a road. We start going in a direction. It looks like it's the right person. And all of a sudden, something comes out of left field. And you're like, wait a minute. This is, now we got to like, this doesn't fit our theory. We got we to gotta regroup. So each episode is just like that. You're going to have several suspects. You're going to start thinking... The, 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 the detective's on the right track, and then something's gonna pop up. Commercial break, you're gonna be left with the cliffhanger, and then we'll start bringing you through, and we'll start eliminating people, and then finally, towards the end, we'll get to the right person, and then. But we, we get, we live tweet. What we do is we live tweet during our episodes. So our viewers and some, you know, a lot of people who love the show, we get comments like, oh my God, how did that happen? So we'll give them a little tidbit, we're not giving it away. But the interactive part of it, they are trying to figure it out. They're That's trying to fun. ask us questions like, That's fun. what happened? I'm like, you got to watch the show. Because I, I didn't know what Twitter was until the show happened. I, I heard about it. I didn't know what it was. And he showed me what was up. So I'm talking to these folks. I didn't have a Facebook account until the show. You know what I mean? I'm serious. I, I'm just, that wasn't me. You know, I had six kids and I worked homicide. And I had a wife that, you know, she went with the, with the madness. You, know, you got to fold the clothes and cut the grass. And guess what? You're the soccer coach this week. And nobody else would do it at the meeting last night. So I'm, I'm going to leave a homicide and I'm going to teach soccer. I mean, so yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of red herring. I love playing chess. And chess is a game where you got to predict and, and think about the next two or three moves. So what happens with me is when I go home, I raise my son. That was a relief. I, you know, ingrained in his activities. It takes my mind off of things. But anything could trigger a, a thought. I could be at the park watching my son play softball like and see a red car pull up a family presumably play softball, but there's a red car in my, in my case. And I think, I'm like, oh, wow, red car. I wonder if it could be that Mercury, something like that. Note to self, right? Back to the baseball game. You know, driving back to, you know, let's get some pizza. We're in the Pizza Hut. And I see somebody that may resemble, or a backpack that's something I'm looking for. Man, let me walk over if I see, oh, that's a Supreme backpack. Let me see what Supreme is. Okay, that's a very popular brand of apparel. Hey, man, what do you want, son? Pepperoni? You follow? And it's always... I used to keep a notepad by my bed because I would wake up sometimes in the middle of the night and I would, I would have a thought and a dream and I'd write it down. How many times have you had a dream? It's so vivid right when you wake up and 10 minutes later, you can't remember a thing. It's funny how the mind works, right? So I started keeping a pad and I would write it down. And, like, and when I read it, I don't remember the dream, but it's relevant because my mind doesn't shut off like that. But it's, it, I'm at peace. 
to answer your question, it's not a struggle for me. It's not where I'm, um, you know, sleepy all the time. I'm good. I rest well, uh, but I find balance in that for me. And, and it helps me because I can't just turn it off. This is a 24-hour day job. You know what I'm saying? You can't. We would see people leaving after eight hours. I'm like, wait a minute, man. Where you going? They're like, oh, man. I'm going to pick it back up tomorrow. I'm going. Tomorrow starts today. Right now. That's what this is. That's what this is all about. We can't wait till tomorrow. So to answer your question, I'm never off all the way.